So today we're going to be looking at some crazy suggestions from the Emergency Hamburg Discord server. And, you know, I'm going to be giving you my opinion on them. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's just go. But make sure you subscribe first. Okay, and let's go. Also, I made a new Discord server. Make sure you join it in the link in the description. All right, starting off the video with this suggestion right here, which is basically saying add street names. Street names. Yes, 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 yes. We need a street name. Okay, we need a street name. We need, we need street names. Okay, do you know why? Because right now, if I'm going down like a road or something and I want to tell, you know, my fellow police police officers or my fellow criminals. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm on this road. Um, I just have to say, oh, I'm on the road next to the dealership or I'm on the road next to the, the tool shop or something like that. Why can't I just say, you know, the name of the road? Like they need to name the roads, you know, very, very important feature. And I think, you know, they've definitely got to add that because road names, they're just, they're going to help out so much. Like I've mentioned, you know, good for role play, good for just in general gameplay is going to be improved if they add roads uh, with names on them. And also the suggestion mentioned they should add um, street signs corresponding to those road names, which, yeah, I, I completely agree. And um, right now it's just very unrealistic how they're all just random roads everywhere and they're not named. Like, they definitely need to be named. And I think this, this is something the developers need to have on top priority because, you know, I've got no idea what road I'm on now. And it's also just very useful for, you know, remembering the map and stuff. So you can remember, like, one road is called this, another road is called this. And, yeah, I think road names absolutely necessary. This suggestion is getting a star from me. Essential feature right here. All right, so now this is suggestion. Um, I think they're talking about adding some new trailers, which honestly, that's pretty interesting. I feel like the delivery company is very unused because there's literally, it's just, it gets a bit boring, you know? So if they added like some different kind of cargo that you could actually put on the back, like, and it actually described what was in it. So right now it's just a huge box. Like it's just a huge container, like strapped on the back of your truck. But if they actually added like some, you know, special trailers, like this one's just like carrying like some huge uh, container. This one is like, this one is like something you'd put like dirt or something in, you know, just something, something like that. I think that would be actually really cool because the truck company, it definitely it's it's kind of, it's not really touched, I feel like, not as much as it should be and um, I feel like that the developers need to, you know, give it a little more love give it some more features and then it'll, it'll feel more complete because right now it just feels like it's kind of incomplete, just very rushed kind of job that they just kind of had to get out because um, the truck company, you know you pick where you want to go and you drive there like it's not very enjoyable right now that is literally it. Uh, they could add things along the way like they could add like a whole process where you have to like um you know strap the trailer on at the start you know actually like mount it and everything like that'll be so cool for role play like all right so if i just quickly join the team here start shift you can see this is literally it this is all there is to it oh yeah do you want to go here 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 like that is it i mean this should be like a whole like loading slash unloading process and then the only vehicles we really have are just kind of car you know boxes on the back you know what i mean like we've got a single trailer you know single trailer trailer vehicles then we got a double trailer and we have this huge one and yeah it's just yeah there's a there's a bunch of options for cars but there's only one type of cargo and it doesn't even say what's in it like i don't know if um you know what euro truck simulator 2 is but that's a pretty cool game i think they took a lot of inspiration from that um but yeah in euro truck simulator 2 uh that's not in roblox by the way it's like a game on steam you you know you drive around trucks and stuff and i think they were trying to kind of replicate that but in emergency hamburg mixed in with all the emergency services and stuff which and you know i think they've done no okay job but it just it feels quite unfinished quite empty and i think that yeah they just need to make it a, a, a more fun process like you know being able to like decorate your inside of your cabin that's something you can do in euro truck simulator but obviously that is not it does that doesn't exist in emergency hamburg and i get why you know it doesn't it doesn't need to be that detailed but you know they could add like more deliver types of deliveries more like different types of cargo make it feel more fun you know yeah i, I feel like they could do a much better job with this i mean you just go there and like kind of go in the green like you should have to like reverse park it or something that just makes it more interesting you know going from point a to b and also the journeys are very quick like um it's not really you know like I, I just go from here to here like it's just quite it's quite quick and maybe they could make more complex ones but obviously that would need a bigger map but anyway yeah for that suggestion i definitely agree uh yeah we need some more stuff on the on the truck company definitely more types of trailers would be cool all right this next one says the team limit for police um to be 16 so i agree so i don't know how I feel about this one because the police are already like overpowered enough you know like the police they already have like so much power over criminals it's, it's quite difficult to rob stuff without getting caught by the police so I feel like giving them even more power with a bigger team is gonna not be really fair I get that there's more criminals but right now it's just it's not very balanced um it's not very balanced how the game is uh kind of set up it's 
kind of in favor of police right now. Um, there's not much you can do as a criminal to kind of evade them very well. I mean, it's very difficult to rob things without getting caught. Personally, that suggestion, I would say, I don't think they need to increase the police limit at all. Um, they could if they, you know, bring down the kind of how much power the police team has. You know, if they nerf the police team a little bit, then sure, they could increase the limit. But yeah, they're just, they're just too overpowered right now. And it's just not very balanced. But yeah, that's what I think of that. All right, so this next suggestion says, add a gym where we can train to run faster and get more stamina. That is actually really, I really like this idea. And then they said, they said the gym could actually double up as a, um, as a place where you can rob. And uh, yeah, it, and they said it could be between um, the bank and gas and go. So this little like plaza area in the middle, I don't think they'd put it there because this is like a, you know, it's quite an open area. I don't think they want to put another building here, but definitely the gym idea and that, and, and it can also be robbed. But yeah, having a way to increase your stamina also on police, that would be really good because then, you know, you can run way faster. And also it's just really annoying. Like you can see, I, eventually I'm going to run out. I have the game pass for times two stamina. So it takes me longer, but if you're running from police, like you're just going to run out eventually. So I feel like being able to level up that amount of stamina that you have and you can how long you can run for i feel like that would be a really nice feature to see i don't know if they'd add that though because i feel like you could say that that's unfair on new players like if you're like a new police um, player and you're trying to catch down like a really experienced criminal you know he's going to be run he's going to be able to run away from you really far you're not even going to be able to get close so i feel like that is um that's the only downside to it but yeah pretty cool um suggestion i do like idea of having more places to rob that is something this game needs as well there needs to be more places you can rob. I feel like it's just getting a bit repetitive going. Also, farm shop, tool shop, Ares, bank, jeweler, gas and go, harbor, like, you know, it's, 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 you can go through the whole cycle in about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. So yeah, they, they do need to add more places. Yeah, good suggestion. All right, this last one, weather system. It would rain from time to time, which would make it slippery. And sometimes after the downpour, there would be puddles similar to oil stains that the, that the firefighters would have to remove. I really like this. I'm going to star that. This is an amazing suggestion because I I think that um yeah they really need weather like if it was able to rain that would that would look so cool in this game like they'd be like splashes on the floor like puddles everywhere i really like that idea and um the roads could become slippery like the cars the driving mechanics could like you know be really slidey and like slide around the place and you know it's just it's just it's just cool because then the the um adac team could come and like put um grit on the on the road i think it's called grit it's like that stuff that makes it more grippy uh and then they could come put that on the roads and make it like less slippy if you know what i mean i feel like that could be a really cool uh, thing to add like see so yeah, I, I really like that weather system definitely want a weather system in the game uh, so you know in christmas it could be like snowing and stuff and then they then we could get like snow plows like imagine how cool that would be but anyway, um, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed those suggestions. Let me know what you think of them in the comments. Uh, subscribe and goodbye.